the computer is the supreme hegemon. It, it is our soldier, sailor, tinker, spy, as well as our post office, printing press, bank, uh, movie screen, television screen. In one sense, it's a form of uh, opening out and uh, raising all kinds of, of possibility and access to information and data of all kinds. But in another way, it's a control device. It doesn't really tolerate uh, dissent. And the only real freedom, in, in my view, is the freedom of the mind, of a mind, to discover and become itself. Internet it, 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 uh, hampers that. The more that human beings learn to operate computers, the more the computers learn to operate human beings. Simone Weil made this point 70 years ago where she said, it is the thing that thinks and the man who is reduced to um, the part of the thing. Plutarch, he's talking about education and he says, a mind is not a vessel to be filled, it is a fire to be kindled. Now the internet is a vessel to be filled, but in and of itself, what, what, what kindles the fire is the, is the, uh, in, the, the imagination and the, and, and that comes to me from uh, use of language.